Hi, it's Chester Tubwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at how to, how to apply a top or bottom 10 filter to an Excel table. Uh, I've started off the sub procedure for you a little bit here. I've declared some variables, one for the worksheet, which is set as the active worksheet, and one for the table that I'm going to be filtering. Um, that's declared as a list object and list objects is a collection and I can refer to the particular table I want to filter. This table is called transactions. So what I want to do is basically pick out the top three transaction values from column E. So all I can do here is refer to the um, range property of the list object, our table called transactions, and that has a method called auto filter. Now, what I next need to do is to use some of the parameters in the auto filter method, the first of which is the field parameter. And that, with that, I just have to give the position of the column within the table. So transaction value is one, two, three, four, five columns across. So it's field five, comma. The next parameter I'm going to use is criteria one. And with that, I specify the number of items that I want to show called a top 10 filter but you could filter on 10 20 25 or 5 items I'm actually going to say 3 so I want to return the top 3 items comma and then the last um, parameter I'm going to use is the operator parameter and with that I can specify what type of filter I'm going to use so I can see Excel bottom 10 items there or Excel bottom 10%, but I want Excel top 10 items. And there we are. So if I now run this, you can see I get the top 10 trans top three transaction values. If I did change this to control enter to bring up the IntelliSense list again, bottom 10 items and run this it would pick out the lowest transaction values and obviously within that as well you probably saw it there is the option to do bottom 10 percent or top 10 percent okay so there we are that's how to use the top or bottom 10 items filter uh, how to write it as VBA code uh, and incorporate it within your larger macro. Thanks very much for listening. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.